G'day guys, it's Joel Fowler for Emmets. We're just here at the Australian release of the uh, Higgy Sprayers. Uh, we're just here with um, Kevin Marshall, the product specialist from uh, Higgy in the uh, in the US. He's come over here for the Australian release. Um, we're just going to have a bit of a chat with him about this, this new uh, line of sprayers that's now available uh, for distribution through the Australian John Deere dealer network. Um, so we're just standing in front of here the STS uh, 16. Do you just want to give us a bit of a, a basic sort of rundown on, on that, Kevin? Yeah, basically it's a 6,000 liter uh, solution capacity. It's equipped with a 9 liter uh, John Deere engine. So that was kind of the big thing when we, the joint venture formed with Heggy. We started putting John Deere power. So it's got a bulge, a power bulge of 415 horsepower. Uh, all wheel steer is a feature of a Heggy that we kind of have a rundown of, or, or kind of a standard feature of what we use. Um, we have an independently controlled traction control system that is kind of unique to Heggy. It'll be an interesting thing to, to take to the field down here in the Australian market. Um, other unique features, obviously, is the front boom and having that kind of different design, the cab forward design. Uh, one of the unique also designs of the machine would be that the center tank, the, the solution tank is mounted directly in the middle of the two axles. So no matter what your solution level is, your balance always stays the same, perfectly balanced from front axle to rear axle. So there's some kind of key features of what makes Heggy different uh, than other sprayer manufacturers that are out there. Yeah, so as far as tank size, that's a 6,000 liter tank, is that? That's correct. That correct? Yep. yep. Yeah, and no then we worries. have, uh, that's our largest capacity tank from there. We, we work our way down. So. Yep. And as far as boom, that's a 36 meter on this machine here? 36 meter boom. That's yep. correct. And you do other, other sizes as well? Uh, that's correct. Yep. Uh, so down to 80 foot, which is what, 24 meters? 24 meters. That's yep. right. 80 foot is the smallest boom that we go to. Yeah. Uh, the key feature, I would also say, calculation, th this boom also folds to 60 foot. Uh, so it's a 120 or 60 meter or 60. 6,000 meter, 60 meter, um, down to 60 foot. Yeah, yeah, joint. no worries. So I guess probably one of the big things uh, also that stands out compared to our John Deere sprays is the ground clearance these machines have. So what what sort of numbers are we looking at there? So it, it's a 70, this machine sitting the way it is right now, it's probably about 73 inches of ground clearance from the ground to the below the frame. Uh, in inches, the boom will actually clear about 118 inches of clearance. So when it's in a fully raised position, which obviously may not be a huge demand down here, but there's some other benefits that come from that. So having the operator that high and having the visibility of the boom in front of you and seeing what kind of applications being done is kind of the, the, the feedback that we're getting. So maybe the clearance isn't such a need, uh, but being that high up and having visibility of what's happening uh, from app where the application's happening and where the actual target's at. Yeah, yeah, certainly for you um, row crop guys that do a bit of summer crop with any maize or anything like that, um, yeah, you've got more than a more than enough clearance under there. So um, one of the other things, Kevin, is there's some uh, some attachments available for this machine as well in regards to like nitrogen toolbars and, and that sort of thing. Right, uh, we come with a we offer a 40 foot nitrogen toolbar, which is kind of infinitely spacings if you wanted to put more or less drops on it. And they have coulters with injection to run liquid nitrogen to it. Uh, basically, it is literally a, about a seven or eight minute switch over time to drop the boom. It, it's very similar to a combine header switch over. Uh, drop the boom, quick connectors, um, and put pick up the nitrogen toolbar and go right to the field again. Yeah, so it wouldn't be uncommon for guys to kind of spray in the mornings when the conditions are right. good and then do some nitrogen application in the, in the afternoons? Yep, absolutely, it yep. can be done very quickly. Yeah, no worries. So if you've got kind of yeah, any anyone that's sort of interested in that, it certainly does make the machine a lot more a lot more versatile and adds that extra level of value. Right, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, cool. No worries. Well look, that's um yeah, just a quick quick look at the STS sixteen um with uh with Kevin, who's the product specialist for, for Heggy. Um so yeah, we might just have a look up in the cab, uh show you guys over some of the basic controls up in there as well. Um and then yeah, we'll uh, we'll wrap it up. Right, so we're just up you. in the cab here now. Um, Kevin's just going to give us a quick rundown on the basic controls. Um, so we've got obviously our hydro stick that you've got your hand on there. Yep. And then probably the one thing that we would show is in a Heggy it might be a little uh, different than what we're used to, but we've got a display down here that is all the machine functions. Yep. So that the actual sprayer functions, valve controls, speeds, shifts, uh, points, uh, just sprayer diagnostics. 
Uh, and then the display up top is pretty familiar to, to most. It's a John Deere 2630. So that is controlling all of our rate, our auto steer, our, our section control, um, mapping, guidance, all those type of things. Yeah. Uh, standard features uh, and found in any John Deere product. Yeah. So, so anyone familiar with an R4045 or anything like that, the spray system in operation wise is, is basically the same? Yep. Uh, there's some integration between some of our controls down here on the dash that actually communicate nicely with the 2630. Yeah. So there is some awesome. integration uh, between the two. Uh, and then some other just normal features are just some analog gauges for yeah. RPMs and yeah. fuel levels, things like that. And then um, you know, we're sitting in kind of the premium cab here with the leather yep, seat. Yeah, we've got the, the leather and the leather on the steering wheel there. Yep. Um, so we've got another little screen over on the right there. That's our for our NORAC. Yep, NORAC height control. Yep. Uh, and with this 120 boom, it's NORAC height control with active wing roll. So active ring, wing roll is simulating a rolling transom without actually physically have a rolling transom. Yep. So it's watching the chassis of the machine roll, it's watching the boom roll, and it's using the wings uh, to keep that boom nice and stable as you, as you go over severe terrain. So another nice feature. Not a, not a lot of user interface here. I control when the NORAC's on and off using the headland management button here on the joystick. So uh, it's very, once again, all integrated into the joystick handle so you're not touching multiple displays throughout the day. And one of the things you've got a, a really nice, uh, I guess, what would you say, a schematic map of the spray system on that screen there. Right. Could we have a quick look at that? As I pull up kind of the solution map, um, what that looks like. As I pull yeah, up the solution is, yeah. map, it shows kind of what the solution system layout is. And you can notice right now it's saying water or rinse tank, H2O, H2O tank, to pump. Um, without the machine running, but I can see that the pump is, is, is switched on. It's obviously not running. I can do a few other things like turn on the rinse rinse circuit. So you can see that the solution will be flowing to the top of the tank and going to rinse. Uh, I can also turn on where the solution is coming from. So I show that, that it's coming from the solution tank to the pump. Basically, it's just a map, uh, knowing which where the valves are at and where the solution is being directed at one time, in case you have any any questions when you're when you're priming the machine or whatever the case may be. No worries. Well, there it is, guys. That's just a quick look at the cab. Um, yeah, the Hagee uh, STS 16. Okay, guys. Now that we've had a uh, look in the cab and had a bit of a chat with Kevin about the machine and some of the ins and outs, um, just wanted to give you guys a quick walk around and just show you the actual machine itself. Uh, So yeah, there it is guys, the uh, Hagee STS 16 sprayer, Joel Fowler for Emmett's.